mound visits, no walks allowed, and no bunting. Okay. And batters can steal first. And Chris, <laughs> you're going to love this. Every game is a two-hour time limit. Fine. As soon as it hits two hours, they cut it off, which I like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, they also have choreographed dances. Mm-hmm. They backflip after like making a catch and it's good for the a kids. bunch of other stuff. Yeah, it's really Family fun for everybody. Yep. And yeah, and- they get people involved in the stands. It's just really cool. The the Florence Yells had played them last year. Okay. And they went to Savannah to play them. Right. And they said before the game they go over all of the rules and make sure that everybody right. understands. But they sell out every single stadium that they go to. It's kind of like the uh uh so it's going to be kind of crazy to get tickets to go to this thing next yeah. year. When I was a kid, I used to see the Harlem Globetrotters a lot, but they would always bring the same team. It was the uh, the Washington Generals, but it was mm-hmm. all a, you know, it was it was all a bit, um, you know, and people would go and it was a blast. Cur- Curly Neal, uh, M- Mel- Melark Lemon, I think the guy's name was. Uh, I mean, all these legends uh, 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 as far as the Harlem Globetrotters. Uh, so this sounds like the baseball version. It is. It. It's the baseball version yeah. of that. And no fights in the stands. Let's hope not. <laughs> I don't think there's anything to fight about. I don't know who they'll be playing. I mean, they're not going to play the Reds. No, because we don't want to be- embarrass the Reds and have them lose. We can't have somebody <laughs> backflip and get hurt. And, you know, we got to keep Terry Francona protected at all costs. <laughs> Why don't we uh, play him? Yeah, we could do that. I, do I want to get involved in this somehow. But only three people work here. How are we going to have a team? <laughs> we'll figure it it'll out. Be, it'll be you, me, and Shroom. <laughs> <laughs> and he'll take that day off. We can find something for Seg to do, too. So according to this PR email from our friend, Michael Anderson, he said, if you are interested in tickets, you have to register at their website uh-huh. at the savannabananas.com slash tickets. And they've got this lottery thing going now through November 1st. Nice. Then how it's going to work two months before they get here. Yeah. So They'll in April. They're going to do a random drawing and let you know that you can you, purchase tickets because yep. it's just going to be wild. Yeah. But this will be a sold out stadium of 45,000 people here to see the bananas. Well, and it's I like cool. and I like that they're doing it like that, because if you're if you're registering this far in advance, that means you're a fan. Mm-hmm. They want fans in the audience, not people that just sit there and go, oh, what, what is this? Of you know course. I mean? yeah. yeah. And people so travel cool. for this, too. So mm-hmm. I would imagine people from all over Ohio or Indiana, Kentucky further. Good for them. Uh huh. Yeah. This all is right. exciting stuff, though. Hopefully it doesn't rain. That would suck. Oh, I know. Yeah. Especially with this much planning going into yeah. it. And, and like, they don't just come here every year. Yeah. It's special. And I and I know what it's like to go do something with your kids and it's ruined by bad weather or something. They're so bummed out. And you're like, God, there's nothing you could do. As a parent, you're like, God damn it. There isn't. There's nothing. <laughs> I mean, we saw what happened with the rain last weekend with the Kroger Wellness Festival canceling and Louder Than Life mm. canceling their first day on that Friday. Yeah. Yeah. It's a pain. So, well. It's Get a, it together, uh, Mother Nature. Yes. I thought you were going to curse there for some reason. <laughs> Get together, Mother... Oh! It's uh, the Kid Chris Show. It's the 